Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you guys had a great night, great weekend. All right, Virgo, so let's just get straight into your message. Please smash that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoy the reading. Um, yeah, so as we're shuffling, two cards popped out. We have the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. So I feel like somebody is getting some clarity on a, uh, making some forward movement um, or taking a risk. Could have something to do with like taking, making, excuse me, taking a gamble. Okay, so you do have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. Um, there's an opening up that's happening here, some type of a revelation. Um, I feel like there's a big gamble being taken to make a re to reveal something. So somebody's going to reveal something to you, Virgo, in the month of October. Okay, I'm going to do a Celtic cross so we can see what other messages be a little bit more defined here but i feel like that's the overall message all right so let's take a look so past energy you've got the emperor so there's it was a connection with someone who i feel like in the past could have been an aries but this is someone who comes across as a, a leader type father figure um very commanding type you know there's there's no democracy with an emperor there you don't get to make you don't get you don't have no say <laughs> You don't have no say, Virgo, with an emperor, okay? So there was some person in your life, in your past, whoever they might have been, where you had to follow the rules, their rules. This is a little bit of a dictatorship. It could be an energy of some type of a relationship that you were in um, or something that you were in or involved a person, place, or thing in your past. So it feels like they set the rules. They set the ground rules, whoever this person was. Now, just keep in mind that the reading can be reversed, okay? So there was an energy of somebody setting some ground rules. They were dictating. They were calling the shots. I feel like this person was dependable. I feel like they're reliable in general. This is how the emperor comes across to me, okay? Um, they're not dependent. They, they're, they're full of resources as far as the emperor energy goes. People respect them. They're very strategic, maybe father figure. They're good at planning. However, I kind of feel like with this person if if like yeah you didn't maybe you didn't get any say or someone didn't get any say in regards to a relationship with them okay so the current energy though virgo is i feel like this is the person from the past is returning in october okay i gotta put it out there there is an energy of fully learning from the past what do i feel like somebody's learning here that they need to be able to move things forward. Oh my gosh, you're just giving me, they just told me, um, Open Arms by Journey. Such an old song, I know. But I feel like this person or someone here is opening up and revealing. Like, I don't know, I get a sense of this emperor energy, this person pretty much just didn't sh like the emperor's not one to share feelings or emotions okay everything is pretty much just just follow the rules just go and do what i say these these this, this is how we're playing the game i'm the captain of the team i'm calling the shots i don't know did you guys break up but i feel like this person with the eight of cups definitely learning something from the past or coming back coming back into your life now this could be a father right this maybe it's your pops or your grandpops okay um it could be an older brother it could be um uh the father of your children it could be um it could be your boss trying to get you to come back to the job virgo we'll pay you more for some of you that's what it is yeah they're they're opening up that bank vault and gonna actually reach in and give you more money okay interesting all right, let's see what the challenge is to this about somebody return. There you go. So I'm creating an opportunity, Virgo. A gift. Listen, all I have to say, I'm just going to I'm just going to say this straight out. Whoever this person is from your past, they're coming in with a gift. This is um can't buy me love. Somebody's to try to buy you out. I'm hearing buy you out. Okay. Um, it's a challenge for them to do it. Why? Because they don't know any other way to be. I don't feel like this emperor 
they're not good at opening their emotions and feelings. So here, let me just throw you some money, throw you some cash your way. Um, maybe this will help. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a it's a buyout. It's like a buyout. It's like giving a gift of some sort, offering a job, doing offering something, but it's something tangible. Okay, that's what the pentacle is. Um, investing coming back in to make a, a real offer a real investment and to show something for that investment it's not just words it's not just dictating it's not just saying it's actually okay here's my offer and to them they feel like it's a benefit it'll be a benefit to you okay for some of you this might be someone that you were trying to get a loan from in the past and you, you didn't hear anything from them or someone didn't get back to you and they're getting back to you now okay but this I generally do I started off this being like a love reading so we're gonna stick to that okay somebody's open I'm telling you uh, you know like when you you think about like the vault the door on a bank vault you know how you got to turn the thing here like somebody's opening up that cash cow they got I'm going to pay for something or give you some kind of gift. I feel like whoever this person is, they so what is their lesson learning from the past and coming back in to give you what you deserve? But it, it's in the form of like something tangible. So I don't know. I, 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 let me just, I got to look at this emperor. Oh, wow. I get the lovers. So this, this person... They really do, okay, so I guess we're getting a little mushy here, but this person, seriously, um, there was love there. Maybe you're married to this person, but there was love there. I just don't get a sense that this, I feel like they were very detached. Let me just get another card. Gemini energy as well. Oh my gosh, the four of wands. So if they're coming back into your life, that must mean there was some kind of a separation or a divorce. I can just tell you that right now. Some kind of separation or divorce. They're coming back with something real. A gift, maybe a ring. Yeah, it could be a proposal or something big. It's like a big ticket item. Whenever I see that pentacle, look at the size of that thing. It's huge. I'm gonna buy that piece of land to build the house on. There's a doorway. Hmm. It's material. It's definitely material. All right, let's see what's driving this. What's driving this? This person. Oh, they've done a lot of self-reflection. Well, it's definitely not a narc because narcs don't self-reflect. They just keep it moving. Um, and you, you're the reason for the season, Virgo. You're the reason for this person. And the reason is you. Okay, let me get a clarifying card. A clarifying card. Oh, the magician. What? In the reverse. They feel like they've wasted so much time and energy, scattered energy, and just never fulfilled any promise either that they made to you or some kind of... I feel like this person has been really... Like, they're reflecting. They are reflecting about this going deep about this how they didn't offer you know that magician energy is just someone who's like wastes time they feel like time is has wasted i don't did, did virgo and this person like why are, what's the purpose like did what happened that's what i want to know because it looks like from this person's end everything on their side seemed to be back then okay oh all right, so there was a sense of somebody Somebody got some clarity about the fact that they didn't feel like this was something that could give them a relationship that could bring material abundance or happiness or joy, uh, kind of a wish come true. This wish is not being met. Uh, needs, desires, things like that. So, yeah, obviously there, there's a separation here. Maybe you separated with a Pisces. You know, and that, I feel like it must be you, Virgo. Um, you got some clarity about a lack of happiness and in, in maybe emotional, a lack of emotion. I don't, 
there's something here. I feel like whoever this person was, just for you, seems like they were kind of selfish. Definitely loved you. Definitely an 11-11 twin thing of some sort. But because of that, because of that emperor energy, a bit cold, you know? I mean, I don't mean like ice cold. I just mean this person their thought process is my way or the highway and i don't virgo looks like you turned out <laughs> you turned out you it looks like you said no no it's not going to be that way it's not going to be your way all you it's not going to be all you i don't know virgo i know virgos don't like selfish they don't like selfish because virgos are so giving and I think that's what was going on here. I think somebody here was just very, a bit selfish. Maybe this is someone who's way older than you. You know, maybe that like, I will be your father figure kind of energy. You know, someone who's way older than you and was kind of like treating you like a child for some of you. Or maybe just someone, whoever you were dealing with, that just treated you like a child. Yeah. Hmm. Could have been a water sign. Could be a Taurus. I feel like very you kind of just like. Yeah, you let go. You let go of holding on to this relationship. You're like, no, I'm out. I'm done. There's nothing here. This person's not giving. There's a lack of, of res maybe reciprocity or just a lack of giving. Um, I, I feel like some of you may have felt like you weren't a partner or an equal in this relationship to this person. And um, <clears throat> this is a sense of like being vulnerable and then, you know, like opening yourself up and then um, not getting anything in return, maybe taking a risk of open your, opening yourself up to try to share your emotions or feelings, but you hit a brick wall with this person. I look at that emperor, all that red. I just think it just gives me like brick wall, brick vibes, brick wall vibes. And okay, hold on. I'm hearing, I just feel like you felt like it was bankrupt. You're out, you're done. Okay. So this person, yeah, you could be dealing with another Virgo, but they are definitely in this position of really like what's driving them to return and do right by you or I want to say buy you out <laughs> or, or give you what you seriously deserve like something tangible something real nothing else just something real maybe even something that's like this is you know here's your I value you and I want to show you how I value I know not listen it doesn't have to be a big high priced item it's just something like maybe they give you a rock with your name on it it says I love you anything my god anything open the f up share how you feel <laughs> right I mean whatever it is here they are sharing something giving you something okay and they've been thinking about it that's what's driving this reading here they got you on their mind deep reflection trying to get some I don't know if they didn't listen to you Virgo I feel like they didn't they just didn't they didn't pay attention or they weren't listening to you they just wanted to have it their way like they thought they were a Burger King you know what I mean they just wanted to have it their way and you just be there that's all you needed to do and there doesn't need to be anything else. You just got to be there. You got to be there for my kids. You got to be there to take care of everything. You got to be there when I need you. You work for me, Virgo. And Virgos are like, I don't think so. All right, let's see what's crowning on this reading here. What's coming down from top? Oh, okay. So listen, I'm just going to give you to give it to you straight here, Virgo. I feel like. This person, they wanted you to be dependent on them. Yeah, 100%. They wanted you to work, do like work for them and be dependent on them. Okay, that's horrible. Okay. They were envious of you, Virgo. This person was envious of you. A little bit jealous or envious. I feel like they kind of felt like, all right, I don't like that energy because I don't know, Virgo. It, it's 
It might have been fleeting. I don't feel like they're 100% like that because the Emperor and the Upright's pretty good dude. But I do feel like with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, they wanted you to be dependent on them. Or they wanted to take care of all the bills, pay for everything, you not do anything. And I know you're independent. Um, and you maybe were trying to be independent, but they and probably were like, oh, yeah, you can do the, that, this, that, and the other, or, or things like that. Maybe it's like a sugar mama, sugar daddy, whatever. I'm getting like this old, old person vibes. <laughs> And I'm, I'm in like retirement already, but yeah, I'm getting like old person vibes here. Older. This must be somebody who is a lot older than you. And um, they wanted to be dependent on, wanted you to be dependent on them, to rely on them for financial advice, for any finances that they could provide or anything that they could provide. Okay. And I also feel like this person... Um, is struggling financially too right now. So I don't, I don't know where they're pulling this big ass gold coin from, but they're, they're definitely going to give it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like they tried. Oh, I don't like where this is going. It's weird. I don't understand it. Like I do, but it's kind of confusing because it's like, I feel like from your point of view, oh, 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 okay. So I'm getting that if they just say they're, okay, this mother effer, if they just say they're sorry to you and hand you this gift of what have you or give you something, some kind of token or something that proves to show, like a good faith effort to show you that um, they're really going to put in the effort here and just say they're sorry, then maybe you will be dependent on them again. Or uh, like, I don't know. It's it's not that I, I, I don't know that it's sneaky. I'm not, we'll have to see as the reading goes. It could be, but I don't get that from the emperor. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it might be they're really trying. They're really going to try to apologize and and because they want you you know they they so in some way yeah they they're still kind of manipulating but this is in their thoughts okay and so but it's so it's very contrasting to the to up here to down here because i feel like this person is actually coming to terms with treating you a particular way is not going to work like I feel like this person, instead of listening to you and trying to understand what it is you need, they projected onto you their own needs and just, and then fulfilled them, not even paying attention. You know, like, you know how, like, um, if there's someone who really likes a certain pair of shoes, so when, when another person's birthday comes up, they gift them the pair of shoes that they like, not the pair of shoes that the birthday person likes. And they have good intentions there, but the issue is that they don't really know that the other person doesn't like those shoes at all. In fact, they'd rather go barefoot, you know? And so I feel like the intentions are good, but this person, I don't know if there's like mind blindness or an inability to figure it out. If you are that person that has to be like, listen, here's a list of all the things that I like. So when birthday comes, just choose one. Like, you almost have to tell this person, like, with a list. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, or, or, or you might have to, like, set their alarm on their calendar or something so that they can remember that it's your birthday. Or, like, you almost have to be, oh, I feel like this person needed you for that. Wow. I can't believe this is happening. This person needed your guidance and your structure. Listen, this is an odd thing. This person, there is love there. And I think you loved them too. I don't know if you still do, but I see in the past there was love there between the two of you. I see that, I, I see that the relationship was framed out, but there was no walls built around these four frames here. You know what I mean? I feel like 
there wasn't a good structure in this relationship. And I feel like this person maybe didn't know how to tell you. Man, what is happening? Leave me um, something in the chat here. If you, if you understand what's going on, because I don't know what this is. I, honestly, Virgo, I feel like this person has no, they're just clueless. Even if you told them, they wouldn't remember. Not initially. They would have to be prompted with reminders. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm understanding. They needed you to be dependent on them so that they could depend on you. But they come across as this emperor, right? So there's a very fixed energy with this person. There's something going on here. Do I want to dive in and find out what is up with them? Why they are, why they are uh, like this? I feel like they needed you. It, almost like an assistant. Do you know what I mean? Or like a secretary or like an assistant. Which Virgo, you know, you're so good at, but, but then I feel like, oh, yeah, see, and if you tried to do that, then they, they didn't like it. Like if you tried to help, oh man, this person's, they got a pride issue. They got pride. Oh, this person, this feels like a freaking roller coaster for you, Virgo. That two of cups in the reverse, I feel like, um, I don't know if they would lose interest or there would be an argument. It, it's almost like, hey, come here. I need you to like, what's on my calendar this week? And then you tell them and then you go into detail about what's on their calendar and then they get annoyed at you for it. Like what? That's a very push pull. That I, like I don't understand this. I've, my gosh, I am so curious to know if anyone has been dealing with this with this person. But like I said, okay, I don't think I'm going to go too too much more deeper into them. But like I said, I feel like they're coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. They're making a return. Either they want you to come back to work or come back into the relationship. I am going to ask what 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 did this person need from Virgo? seriously because i mean i feel like the love is there at least well it was and yeah it, obviously they're coming back but not i don't know let me see what did they need from you virgo hmm that's very interesting hold on oh queen of swords oh Okay, in the reverse. Okay, they needed you to be very logical and quick-witted on top of things. That's so weird. But I feel like this person needed you to be un unemotional. They can't handle emotions. I'm telling you right now. They, they really, like, they're low on the emotional quotient here. I don't know what's going on. But they needed you to be in this Queen of Swords reverse kind of energy where, you know, Queen of Swords reverse is cold, <coughs> rigid, logical, n no emotion. For you to give that, for you to ask for emotion, they, ca they can't do it. I need more love. I need kisses. I need affection or I need affirmations or, you know, things like the emotional level IQ or level. There's just like a lack of capability to fulfill your emotional needs, which is why I felt like you guys were leave, like you were, you split up because of that. Okay. But I don't know if this, this person's, they might be high functioning or something along those lines it's to their best of their ability to have feelings for you or the deep love. Yeah, it's there, but the expression of that lacking, completely lacking, like to tell you. All right, let's see what the near future is coming up for you, Virgo. Oh, wow. Okay, the star, Aquarius energy. So there's definitely some healing, which is good. And there will be a renewal. There's a renewal of, of hope. Um, somebody's really getting into new age studies. 
and I'm picking up um, something to do with Egypt. It's a connection to Egypt or the pyramids or somewhere in Egypt. Okay, in the near future, maybe January. But anyway, yeah, there's some kind of renewal or change happening here. Hold on, let me see. Like a miracle. Um, what? Okay. We've got justice. All right, hold on. Come on in, buddy. Hold on, you guys. My grandson's coming in. Come on. They give me kisses. Give me kisses. Good night. I love you. I love you, Coop. <laughs> okay. So, all right, let me see. Oh, okay. All right, so high, high reunion vibes. Yes, I feel like you two are going to... It's a miracle here. But what is a miracle? All right, so Virgo, this is what I feel like. I feel like this is someone who... I feel like they're high functioning or on the spectrum. That's what I feel like is going on here. And they might not even know it or might not be aware of it. Okay. Um, if you want to, if you want to be with this person, you're going to really need to try to understand that. Okay. You really have to try to understand them. Even if they're not, even going to want to know about it. There's something in the childhood. And, but if you were to tell this person that you think that they might be on the spectrum, and it's not a derogatory thing at all, but if you were to be truthful with them, I feel like that could start the healing process for both of you. But, you know, obviously that is if you want to be with this person. Okay, now, so listen, caveat, if you're listening to this reading and this is resonating for you and it's something you hadn't thought of or you did know it, but you weren't sure how, how to handle it, not everybody, it's tough because when you love someone, you love someone, you can't help it, you know. Um, I feel like there might be a need to have a communication about this, okay, because I don't feel like this person honestly i feel like they love you and i feel like they need you but they need help too with other things they might have assistance somewhere else in their life maybe maybe not you might already know and maybe this is all resonating and this person you already know that they're on but they're you might have had an expectation for them to be a particular way uh, or for them to remember things i feel like first understand what's going on then treat the problem or treat the symptoms <laughs> you know what i mean because it can't be cured right but i don't know that's what i feel like this message is and even with that judgment card there a big revelation so things can start moving forward definitely for me it's coming together it's tying in let me see you here okay so i feel like there will be some kind of reconciliation where there's a good truthful healing talk between you and this person or an understanding at least Okay, that Six of Cups, yes, it's always about um, innocence, kindness, sincerity, okay? And, and I do kind of feel like this, whoever this person is, they're a bit older than you. Maybe there's a story that you have in your childhood. Maybe you realize that you're on the spectrum. Or maybe there's a story in your childhood. Maybe you have kids that are, okay? Or... Maybe a family member or a brother or sister that was diagnosed. Like maybe that's why you understand this and you know you know what's going on. But maybe it got to be too much for you, or just things were just frustrating you. You know, I I don't know, Virgo. It's that's at, at the end of the day, that's up to you how you want to handle this. But let's take a look and see what your advice is. All right, start over. End this past thing. Start over. Okay, and don't be cocky about it. <laughs> Start over. Start not in pride, right? Don't approach this situation with like a prideful energy about yourself. In other words, like, 
I feel like if this person isn't aware that they have this particular way about them, um, I feel like the last thing you want to do is, you know, shout it at them and tell them in a, an argumentative way or in a prideful way that this is the struggle that they're, you know, they're they're having. Because if you're engaging with this person, you're going to have the struggle too. It takes two people. If one per, if both people are on the spectrum, it's probably easier. But if, and I don't know for a fact, so correct me if I'm wrong, if you must, I'm fine with that. But if there's a, one person who is and one person who isn't, there's just two different worlds. Okay. So I feel like, um, you know, the six of wands in the reverse is usually a card about retreating after some kind of a failure. So take your time and think about how to start over if you choose to. Now for others, this is pretty much like I'm, I'm giving up and I'm moving on. And if that's what you need to do, because I know like everybody's in different situations. If you need to move forward on with your life and just this, just there's a lack of compatibility here or you feel like you've done everything you could, then that's fine. You can do that. You're, you don't, you have to get something out of the relationship as well, Virgo. You need to remember that. If this person needs you, okay, because they love you, but these are certain things that they need um, being with you, but it feels, um, empty for you, or there's something you're missing here, you're allowed to say, I'm sorry, I, I understand that this is, you don't even have to tell them, but if, if you wanted to, you can just, you know, you can say that, you know, I just don't understand you, and I don't know how to make this work, and I need your cooperation, but, you know, People can learn, and sometimes you have to teach people. Not everybody, okay? So it's up to you if that's something that you're wanting to do. Like, I don't, you might, you guys might be interested. So the Eight of Cups in the reverse is a temporary situation, so, of uh, our temporary separation. So I do feel like, and I, I know this reading is not going to resonate for everyone, but I do feel like you and your partner, it, it may be a recent separation, or you're just temporarily, like, the vending machines are out of order right now until they get filled back up again. Let's take a look at them. Okay. This person's completely out of balance. Wow. They're feeling out of control. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. They need you like Mighty Mouse to come in and save the day, I guess. But they're not doing so great. There's something here about electricity. Or elect, yeah, something electrical. Could be getting some brain zaps. Not exactly sure. They just said brain zaps. There's something here with electricity. Something has knocked them off their their feet for sure. And you know there is also with that lightning bolt hitting the crown there. That is an energy of like bam. You know how they always say. <laughs> You know, when someone gets hit by um, like a lightning, I'm not saying they're getting hit by a lightning bolt, it's just a metaphor. When somebody gets hit by a lightning bolt, you know, it, it shocks them, but sometimes it it changes everything, you know? And this is hitting the crown chakra, which is a sense of like, boom. Okay, so what does that mean? This person out of sync, not in harmony, realizing this? Oh, oh yeah. Mostly it's this rejection. It's it's the rejection or the false starts and delays um, or a brutal rejection. Uh, so I, I guess they feel that there's a sensitivity, strong sensitivity, could be a Sagittarius. We got Libra. There's a strong sensitivity yeah, hi, hi, highly sensitive, hypersensitive. Some kind of rejection is they're off balance. They're 
They're like a like a dog chasing its tail. They're 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 going in circles. Mm. And oh gosh, so you know, I don't want you to feel guilty, right, about this. Like uh, you got it. Like at the end of the day, listen. Whatever the situation is going on here, like you have to be happy too, Virgo, and you must put your your needs and yourself first. Okay, and you got to ask yourself, you know, okay, well. And now that I know this, what do I do about it? Do I, do I love this person? Stay with them? What do I do? I try to work it out. Like there needs to be some kind of connection that gets made where there's an understanding, which I feel like there might be. But at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself: Am I gonna? Am I willing to go through all this? Can I? Do I have what it takes to go through? this type of a relationship or to put all the effort in again and then get nothing in return or will things change like you got to make that decision let me see what your hopes and fears are Virgo okay oh well so the empress matches the emperor so there is a hope that you can be what they need and they could be what you need absolutely with the empress absolutely where you both can be partners and not one is a dictator and one is like a slave just following orders okay that's the hopes right there's a fear that that might not happen but i feel like i'm like i'm a firm believer that anyone can change unless they're like s severely like concussed or they have whatever that cte syndrome thing is or going on or you know even old dogs can learn new tricks. I'm a firm believer of that. They just have to want to. That's all. That's the only difference. I think anybody can change. They just have to want, have to, want to. They can change their physical self. They can change their thinking. They can adapt and adopt new behaviors. Yes, I believe anybody can because we're not robots. Unless you were, unless you were with a robot, then they just need to be real pro reprogrammed and even they can be changed. Okay, so the only difference is they have to want to. And, you know, even if they're coming in with a gift, I feel like this person is trying to meet a need of yours. And it doesn't, like, your need doesn't have to be, oh, do you got to give me gifts and then, and then. But it's something tangible, something real, something that means something to you symbolically. Okay, I feel like they're trying, or well, they will be trying. But, like I said, you got to decide if you want to keep trying. Some people, I get it, like when they have that strong love attachment, they want to keep trying and other people are just like, nah, it's easier just to start with somebody new, fresh from the beginning. And then there's others who don't want to start over fresh with someone because they have a history with someone. As long as there's no abuse, which, you know, I know we're living in these crazy times, but as long as there's no abuse, then I think things can be good okay so the outcome is a stress-free situation uh, anxiety gone okay why is the anxiety gonna be gone there's rest recovery healing relief yes let's see why is this what what is this why is this happening who four of swords in the reverse Somebody takes action. Somebody takes action here. That's what it is. So I kind of feel like, Virgo, this this if you were to take this person back, you got to have some kind of talk or conversation with them about whatever this issue is, okay? I can't even believe I've gone 40 minutes and I haven't pulled any other cards yet. I guess I I guess perhaps this this is a very important reading. <laughs> and that's what I feel like is going on here. There's going to be action. Yeah assertiveness changes lifestyle change so if you decide virgo that you're going to give them a chance because they're really putting in the effort i feel like you gotta if you if you keep repeating the same things from the past you're going to get the same thing in the future okay if you haven't fully learned from the past or if you haven't learned here or you haven't addressed whatever the issue is here in this situation it the cycle will keep repeating you're being asked virgo with the death card here to end that cycle Put an end to that, not in a cocky way, but just be like, okay, this has to transform, right? If, if you're going to, you know, engage with this person. Let me see what your 
get some other messages here for you, Virgo. Okay. So you've got... Hmm. Finish what you start. That's what I'm hearing. And the initial P. Finish what you start, Virgo. Finish it. Remain objective and fair-minded, Virgo. Communicate clearly. This is an unemotional relationship or someone who's somewhat unemotionally or emotionally unavailable. Okay, and I don't think that that's a choice that they're making. You know, they might just be quirky. They might not be on, they might not be high functioning. They might just be quirks. Whatever the situation is, again, it doesn't matter. You're not obligated to do anything. But you need to be upfront and you need to speak and you need to tell them what you suspect or what you know. Maybe that will help them. Even if you are not going to be with them or you decide you don't want to be with them, maybe that would be a huge help to them. If they're willing, like you got to be really kind. Somebody's parking in their car right now. I just saw in my mind's eye someone's parking their car. Uh, you might even be able to help them right for their future and i feel like if they're the type of person that's open and willing to see it as long as you know you do it in a kind way and build the rapport before you <laughs> spring it on them of what you think is going on um you could be a good ally for this person if you feel like the relationship the romantic part isn't going to work out you could you you both could be good allies for each other because i feel like this person does they they, they come across as very supportive of you and uh, definitely love you, just not good expressing love. Okay, there's the four of wands. There you go. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life, Virgo. Hmm. That's a very interesting message, Virgo. So I don't think we need to get into how this person feels because I kind of feel like I said that enough. Let's see what the messages of love are. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, friendship. All right, some of you, like I said, you just might decide to stay friends. Okay? Or maybe you just, that might be for you. Or maybe you both are like, yeah, we're great in other ways, but not in the romantic partner. For some of you, there is a change and a turning point where the friendship aspect of this relationship can lead to more. Okay? Um... So if you and this person split and decided to just be friends, I feel like if you're a real true friend, perhaps you would want to tell this person that, you know, they suspect something here or that you suspect something here with them. And they might really appreciate you for that, Virgo. I don't know. I just feel like, Virgo, you know, you're all like the healers of the Zodiac, right? Oh, uh -huh. the soulmate, yeah. They would love, accept, and respect you unconditionally for being open and honest with them. Even, Virgo, if you decided you don't want to be with them, you just want to keep it platonic, you might lift a, a huge burden off of this person in their life that they might have been struggling with their whole life and didn't even realize. They might even take pride in the fact that, hey, you know, I'm unique, right? Although they are, yeah. See, look, obsession. Gripped by obsessive thoughts. I think that's a feature of autism, you know? Uh, special interests. This person has special interests. And they, when they're involved in their special interests, they, they do it. They're the best at it. They're the best at it. They spend a lot of time on it. Learning it. Mastering it. This person, and I don't know so much that it's obsessive thoughts of you, could be because sometimes that does happen um, with um, certain individuals on the spectrum, not all, but I feel like that's a that's a key feature. Okay, I'm almost I almost feel like this is getting into a psychological reading, so I don't know why we go that way. <laughs> All right, let me just get a couple extra cards, a couple messages here. So yeah, obsession is a key feature. That might be something you need to understand. 
either they're obsessed with their special interests and they have no time for anything else, a romantic relationship, or they're obsessed with you, which they could be. Oh, okay, Virgo. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and then I feel like I'm gonna end the reading. I'm sorry, I don't feel like I need to go into charms or anything tonight. And you know, guys, I do all the time, but I just kind of feel like. This is just coming out so strong. You do have narcissists. Okay, understand. If this person is avoidant or if they are on the spectrum, sometimes, and I'm not saying that I'm a doctor and I know this 100%, but there are times when it can look as if this person is very narcissistic. The only difference between it is that narcissists have cold empathy. In other, way, in other words, they like mimic empathy. It's not real. But people on the spectrum do have empathy. They're deep in empathy. They care. They love. They're just not good at expressing their emotions. So are you... I mean, I know some of you know. You're like, nope, 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 nope. That's not my person. My person's a narc. Okay. And that's fine. You do whatever you need to do for yourself, whatever information you need to get. It's not that there's a fine line. It's the difference between like a Granny Smith apple and a red apple. Okay, they're both apples. One's sour and one is sweet. But you got to see, like you got to know, okay? Um, if you're dealing with a narc here and you feel like this person is masking, um, I don't know if you just got to be able to gauge the empathy and uh, trust me, whether this person's a covert narcissist or, an, um, or they're in their overt acting out, um, you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see the selfishness, the way they say things, the way they talk to other people or the little things that they say or little things that they say to you. You will know because you will feel the fake empathy. You can feel that. Anybody who has empathy can feel the difference between fake empathy and real empathy. You know what I mean? You could tell when somebody's faking it. Even if you don't, even if they don't tell you, you know. You just know and it feels off. Okay? So either your person, that's what you're dealing with here, and you just You know it and you left and you're not going back or you weren't sure. For some of you, possibly yes. For others of you, possibly no. But, you know, at the end of the day, you you got to trust yourself with whatever you were dealing with with this person. You got to trust yourself. Were they faking it or did they have real empathy? Or did they just have only empathy for themselves <laughs> and nobody else, okay? I don't know. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to say whether this person is a narc or is not. Okay. But I do know to some degree that sometimes like when someone gets um, very obsessed with their ideas and the things that they're doing and, the, and they're working a lot or they're, you know, involved in their hobbies or their crafts and they don't really express their emotions, it can feel like they're being selfish, which then could lead to thinking that they're uh, maybe in narc and narky in some way. But that's not always the case, okay? Yeah, maybe, maybe that, maybe you need to go talk to somebody about this if if this is new for you. Because I know a lot of my listeners are like, no, we've been down this rabbit hole a million times, Kel, and we know the difference, okay? And for those of you that know the difference, all right, that's good. Um, um, maybe this is for someone new to my channel, perhaps who hasn't been here, okay? Oh, I just saw, okay, and where did it go? because I almost picked it up and it fell out of my hand. I saw a musical note. So I'm, I'm hearing like someone's obsessed with music or there is a connection. I am pulling the charms, by the way. There is a connection to music or music. Oh, they just said music soothes the beast. Tell us all this time. I don't know where it went, but it's, it disappeared. It was a white musical note. Oh, yeah, okay. So... Okay, I just heard. Now they're telling me, so they gave me like a little letter envelope here. So now they're telling me someone is writing, wrote you a song, wrote a song about you, or is writing a song about you. 
is going to mail it to you or send it in somewhere. There's somebody wrote a song about you. Or wrote something about you that included music. So either that you're going to get it, maybe you've received it before, or you're going to get it. All right, let me get another charm here and see what else comes out. Oh, look, you have two hearts here, intertwined. Intertwined or intertwined? I can't remember, but this is two hearts entwined. How about that? Holding arm, like arm, arm and arm. Oh, man. Okay, Virgo. And now you have, all right, I don't know what this is, but at first it felt like a bunch of grapes. And then I'm seeing a pork, no, a pork. <laughs> first I'm picking up a bunch of grapes and then looking at this now, they're giving me a pine cone. And then I'm also seeing a grenade. So uh, I think it's a pine cone. That's kind of what I'm getting. I think this is a pine cone. So some maybe some kind of connection to pine cones. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you have a lot of pine cones in your yard. And you also have uh, another monkey is showing up here again. So somebody might be born in the year of the monkey in connection to this reading, which I believe 1968, I think is the year of the monkey. And then 12 more years would be 1980. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that pine cone there. And they just said to get one more charm. So let's just grab one more charm. Okay. So they're giving you a shooting star, Virgo. A white shooting star. Some kind of connection to a shooting star. Maybe you'll see one or you just recently saw a shooting star somewhere. Hmm. Like a meteor, meteor meteorite shower? Meteor shower, maybe? You might see one after this reading, or you just saw one. I don't know. If you do, if you see like a shooting star, um, that that's a, a big sign. A big sign that this reading is specifically for you. Okay? So if you see a, sh a shooting star, leave me a comment and let me know. All right, you guys, I'm going to get done. I got this reading done really late tonight. So if you need a personal reading, yeah, go ahead and click the link to my website moonpietarot.com and um yeah thanks everybody for being in the chat and i will have the members video up tomorrow for you guys and yeah thanks to mods you guys are awesome i will see you all back here tomorrow okay? i just can't Bye. let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us